Welcome back. A woman who was born into privilege, power, honor, wealth, is standing trial in New York on charges that could send her to prison for life. Ghislaine Maxwell is accused of finding, enticing, and grooming underage girls for her sometime boyfriend and longtime employer, Jeffrey Epstein. You've all heard that name. And if you think their relationship couldn't possibly be boiled down to the one sentence I just read, you're right. Vicki Ward knows that relationship and both of those people as well as anyone ever has or will. She is a best-selling author and investigative journalist whose docu-series Chasing Ghislaine premieres tonight on Discovery Plus. I've seen clips. It looks awesome. I can't wait to watch the whole thing. Thank you so much uh, for coming on tonight. Let's start with, with the first question that I really had. Why the title Chasing Ghislaine? Chasing a very interesting word there. Well, do you remember, Brian, after Jeffrey Epstein uh, was found dead in his jail cell, um, the question of where was Ghislaine Maxwell uh, dominated our headlines uh, for a year until she was found in quite dramatic circumstances, uh, living sort of on the cliffs uh, up in New Hampshire. But I also think that long before that, really all through uh, the period of her life in New York, which is where I first met her in the 1990s, she's, she was an enigma. She was someone uh, who would breeze in to the kind of British expat kind of parties that I attended, you know, the British expat world in New York is a small one, we all know each other. And she would sort of name drop uh, important politicians, rich people she'd been spending time with, traveling with, and then she would disappear again. She was always uh, this sort of exotic figure, you, and you were left wondering, what does she actually do all day? Is it really this jet set extraordinary life? It, it was curious. So that is why it's called Chasing Ghislaine. It's a, it's a question, uh, you know, who who is this woman? Yeah, absolutely. There is this mystery about her. I mean, we've heard so much about Jeffrey Epstein over the years, and there's really enough evidence to say, I mean, he's a he's a pretty bad guy. We've seen all, all the, the evidence and heard from the victims. But with Ghislaine, there has always been this sort of question, was she also abused by Epstein? Was she or, or was she also as bad as as he was? Right. So to sort of push back a little bit, one of the reasons I wanted to make this documentary when Ghislaine Maxwell was arrested was precisely because I knew, given that I had um, been assigned to write a very deep dive profile of Jeffrey Epstein back in 2002, I knew that his story was a lot more complicated than just being a sex offender, as horrific as that is. There was much more to Jeffrey Epstein. He was a master manipulator. He was a con artist. He was an embezzler. He was possibly an arms dealer. He was probably a spy. Uh, and he was a math teacher. And I knew that Ghislaine Maxwell held the key to possibly unlocking the riddle of who he really was, because the real story is, is much more complicated and it involves many more people. She was a kind of fireball of energy, a real live wire that it felt exciting to be in her company. She told fantastically funny stories. She had quite a raucous sense of humor, lots of self-deprecating humor. And her conversation was sort of peppered with famous names of, you know, extraordinarily powerful people. And my guest is journalist, author, and commentator Vicki Ward, whose three-part docu-series on Ghislaine Maxwell debuts tonight on Discovery+. Plus. Uh, I want to ask you, um, Vicki, her trial now, the sex trafficking charges, you seem to know this situation better than anyone. How do you think this is going to play out? Uh, do you think she, she's guilty? I, listen, she's pled not guilty. It's up for a jury to decide that. Brian, but what I, I think we do know, uh, and I know from my reporting, is what her defense strategy is going to be. And past is prologue. What I mean by that is that 
when Ghislaine Maxwell's father died in uh, controversial circumstances, her two brothers were charged of uh, helping their, their dead father basically rob his former employees uh, of their pension funds to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, this was in the early 1990s in London. Nobody before that trial thought that Ghislaine Maxwell's two brothers were going to be acquitted. But their defense was to say that they themselves were victims of a brutal father. Their own mother took the stand and said that. And I think you're going to see Ghislaine Maxwell say that she was a victim of Jeffrey Epstein. They, Kevin and Ian Maxwell also shredded the credibility of the government's witnesses. And again, I think you're yeah, going to... Yeah, sorry to interrupt you, Vicky, but I think it'll also be interesting um, to see, you know, how this all plays out. Obviously, her lawyers have said that she's only being tried because Epstein cannot. So thank you so much, Vicky. Sorry to cut you off. I uh, can't wait to watch the entire thing. It's on be streaming now on Discovery Plus. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.